When you think of implementing or continuously improving your environmental management system, you think of ISO 14001-2015 and turn to the set of requirements which provide the framework for your EMS and can move you forward to certification. Hang on a minute. If you find ISO 14001 difficult to understand, or even plain confusing, where do you go for further guidance? How about using ISO 14004 2016? Want to hear more about this international standard and what it can do for you? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery where we give you the strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode will look at one of the most important environmental international standards, ISO 14004-2016, that can be used to support the implementation of an environmental management system based on ISO 14001-2015 through its guidelines. ISO 14004-2016 was published on the 1st of March 2016. Its scope provides guidance for an organisation on the establishment, implementation, maintenance and improvement of a robust, credible and reliable environmental management system. The guidance provided is intended for an organisation seeking to manage its environmental responsibilities in a systematic manner that contributes to the environmental pillar of sustainability. It should be noted that ISO 14004 is a guidance standard and therefore is not able to be certified against in the same way that ISO 14001 can be used for the certification of your environmental management system. If you want to understand more about the different types of ISO documents, click on the link here. As you might expect, the contents of ISO 14004 follow the structure of ISO 14001, which includes the scope, normative references, terms and definitions, context of the organisation, leadership, planning, support, operation, performance evaluation and improvement. There are two annexes, Annex A, which is informative, which contains examples of activities, products and services and their associated environmental aspects and environmental impacts, risks and opportunities, and actions that can be taken. And Annex B, which is also informative, on a phased approach to implementing an environmental management system based on ISO 14005. You can find out more about ISO 14005 in the link to our episode here. And finally, there is a bibliography of other ISO documents which can further support the development of your environmental management system. Most importantly, the main text provides useful guidance for anyone, whether an environmental manager, consultant or someone who has been given the responsibility for implementing an environmental management system in their organisation. In addition to the main text, there are 20 practical help boxes on all the key issues for the development of your environmental management system. These boxes can help you with understanding the specific ISO 14001 requirements, such as external issues and internal issues, protection of the environment and prevention of pollution, examples of roles and responsibilities, life cycle perspective, compliance obligations, environmental management system communication, and examples of improvement. Here is an example of one of the practical help boxes. This box is the fourth in the series of 20, 
giving examples of interested parties and their needs and expectations, an area that some organisations struggle with, and ISO 14004 provides the guidance and these examples to help you identify your interested parties and their needs and expectations. So, to summarise, ISO 14004 2016 can give important guidance to assist you in the development of your environmental management system based on ISO 14001 2015. Copies of ISO 14004 2016 can be obtained from your national standards body. The links to ISO, BSI, ANSI, Standards Canada and Standards Australia are available in the description box below. If you want further information on ISO 14004 2016 and the links to the national standards bodies referenced in this episode, this information is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. I hope that this episode has given you an insight into the value of using ISO 14004 2016 to support the development and maintenance of your ISO 14001 2015 management system. Any questions on this episode, please leave in the comment box below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.